Hi, so today I'm going to tell you how to add a browser component to a Windows Forms application. So first of all, we're going to need to download .NET Browser from the Visual Studio Gallery and we're going to go to visualstudiogallery.msdn.microsoft.com and search for .NET Browser. We found it. Great, so now we're going to click on the Get Started button to download the VSIX package. It's downloading. And now we're going to open the package and read the product license agreement and click Install. So now we're going to add .NET Browser to the Visual Studio toolbox. We'll start with launching Visual Studio and creating a new project. So as you see, I have chosen Windows Forms application for my project. And the name of the test project will be .NET Browser. I'm going to open the toolbox in designer mode. And here we can see .NET Browser installed as one of the components. So we can double click WinForms Browser View to add it to the form. Click on the component to change its properties. You can play around, change whatever you want. And select Doc and choose Fill to make the component fill all the form. And now we can choose the URL property to set up the default web page. It will be automatically loaded when the application is launched. Now let's go ahead and add the license file. So first we're going to right click on our project and choose add and existing item. Please note that we need to select all files if we want to see the license file. So now we can see it and I'm going to select the team dev licenses file and it will be added to the project. So select the license file in the Solution Explorer and change the build action to embedded resources to finish the license setup. So now we're done and we can go ahead and build the project. So first let's right click on our project and choose build. And after the project is compiled, we can launch our application. Yep, as you can see, the default page is loaded and operational. Yep, great. 